know what's brewing weekday mornings on 5? During the first year of the program, 5% of the find out what yours is too by simply coming out. Double TV5 Eyewitness News. And I'm Amanda Davis. First on Fox 5 tonight. Amanda Davis is here tonight. I know many of you have missed her because you've told me so, and we have too. And it's my privilege now to welcome back someone who needs no introduction in this town. My friend, it's all yours. Thank you, Russ. Atlanta has been home for me for 30 years, a couple while I was in college and 28 on television news. I've been fortunate to work at two of the best stations in town, including 26 years right here with you on Fox 5 Atlanta. I've seen, heard, and reported on stories from Bankhead to Buckhead to the White House. I've played and cried with little boys and girls in their journey to find parents to call their own through Wednesday's Child. There have been awards, honors, and accolades. There have also been challenges, disappointments, and stumbles. But yea, though I walk through the valley, with God's help, I made it through. And that's what I want you to know. I am blessed. So it's with a heavy heart that I announce now that I am officially retiring from Fox 5 as I look ahead to a new chapter in my life. So with much love and appreciation, I say thank you for your support to my immediate family, mom, Laura, my fabulous TV family here at Fox 5, both behind the scenes and on air, Russ, Cookie, K-Rod, you're the best. And to all my great friends and you, the Atlanta community, that welcome me into your homes day after day, night after night, for nearly 30 years. I'll still be in town, so when you see me around, say hi, and know that, yes, I am that news lady from Fox 5, Amanda Davis. Love you. Oh, it's wow. great to see you. <laughs> you know. My cookie, Russ. Uh, my on TV behalf husband. of the TV station, yes, <laughs> I'm jealous. Yes. Yeah. Which will continue, I hope. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not divorcing. <laughs> yes. but, uh, we want to thank you for, for what you've meant to us, our friendship, which will continue, for what you've Thanks. meant for the TV station. We hope you know how much we love and appreciate you. Wow, thank you. It's been a great yeah, ride. It's, it's hard to imagine those 26 years. And I, and I always thought that I was going to be the one to l first leave you two guys, you know? <laughs> so, uh, you know, now I don't have that to, to look forward to, but... God, it's just been a pleasure all these years. Okay, well, when your time's up, call me back. I'll okay, will you come and do it? You come, come and, and do a say goodbye. I'll dab your tears too. <laughs> yes, okay. Well, as you put it so eloquently, your decision to retire has opened up a new chapter in your life, and we've gotten so many responses from the folks out there who, who have sent in messages of support, lifting right. you up in prayer. Always, it's been great. Can't put them all on TV, but <laughs> we do have three very special friends who have something they'd like you to hear. Okay. When I think of her, I think of Wednesday's Child which is a long-running feature that is associated with her. I think in that feature you saw the maternal instinct, you saw her warmth, you saw her compassion, you just saw her love. She's a mom, but she's a mom to everybody. Atlanta has always loved you, Amanda. Uh, we've always been uh, very close to you and watch you do all the things you've done on television, watch you raise a daughter to a, uh, a budding superstar herself, and, and I've always been proud to call you my friend. I don't play the, the uh, guitar, but if I did, it's not a sour note, it's a happy note, and I wish you the best. We know her, we love her, uh, we have served with her on many good causes of this city, and uh, She'll find her way to be involved, and uh, we'll be right there with her to help her. Uh, my wife and I consider her part of our family, and uh, her daughter is as though she were our daughter. And we're very proud of everything they do, and we're proud of the work that she has done in this city uh, for many, many years. It was fun. Yeah, it's nice to hear those things when you're yeah, uh, I mean, above <laughs> ground and looking so great, right? <laughs> exactly. And, you know, it certainly worked uh, competitively with Monica, but she's a friend and, uh, I mean, the ambassador, what can you say? And then Ryan, he's just a hoot. Yes. Quite the guitar <laughs> have player. lots of friends. Yeah. <laughs> Not a sour note. Good yeah. note. Now, I mean, it's been so long, uh, almost three decades. Is there a highlight that, that comes to mind? Oh, my gosh. You know, there are so many 
good and bad stories, unfortunately, in right. this business. Mm -hmm. But I have to echo what Monica said. Wednesday's Child just became a labor of love for me. Sure. And I really felt like we, as the station, made a difference and it afforded me the opportunity to really connect with some young people and hopefully make their lives better. Yeah, it did. Well, it's been great. I mean, I don't know how we go without you <laughs> between this guy and me, even though we never fight, but you always were right there between us. But it's just been 26 great years. I can't, yeah. it doesn't seem like 10 or even 15, and there have been so much that you have done for us, for us as friends, yeah. we've been in your house, you've been in our house, we're, we're your kids, we remember she's small and ours, now they're all grown up. But we wanna, before we close, we wanna show some, if we can, in a short capsule, highlights uh -oh. of your career with <laughs> us, all right? So please join with us and the audience in watching this. You wanna know what's brewing weekday mornings on five? I interviewed you ages ago when I used to do Good Day. I yeah. started Good Day Atlanta. Fox 5 2000. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. And I'm Amanda Davis. The world is welcoming in the year 2000. The word of Reverend Williams' passing came late this afternoon at Piedmont Hospital. His family poured out emotional tributes to the man who once served as a top aide to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> Strains of Amazing Grace filled the air, welcoming Coretta Scott King to the state capitol. Martin III escorted his sister Yolanda, Dexter walked with Bernice. For Coretta Scott King to be so honored in this way is a true testament to her legacy. Mrs. King is the first woman, the first African American to lie in state here at the Capitol. Good morning and welcome to the 40th annual Martin Luther King Jr. commemorative service. It is the national holiday recognizing the birth of Dr. King. Wow, and I know that doesn't even begin to describe this day. People with tickets, people without tickets, people who watched on jumbotrons, people who gave up and just went back home to watch on TV. It didn't really matter. They just wanted to be a part of this historic moment to see the inauguration of our country's first African-American president. It was a whirlwind day in Washington. I sat down in the diplomatic reception room for my exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with the president. We've got to make sure that we're not spending on programs that don't work, but we're still investing in education so our kids are skilled and prepared for the jobs of the future. For Good Day Atlanta, I'm Amanda Davis in Washington on the White House lawn. Hello, I'm Amanda Davis, and welcome to our annual Home for the Holidays Christmas Special. This, of course, is the time of year when we like to look back at some of the wonderful children we featured on Wednesday's Child. Now we're just a single family unit, and we have a lot of fun together. We're just a family now. It just feels right. It feels whole. 